In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to add an outline to a photo so you can go from a simple photo like this one to a photo like this that you can use on any social media design. Or you can also have an outcome like this in case that you want to add a creative touch to any photo and still keep the background. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. For this project, we are going to use canva.com. This is the home page and you can start with any Canva document. I'm going to go for a social media one. So I'm going to this category and then I'm going to use an Instagram post that is square. I'm going to click on create blank. Now, from here, we are going to upload our photos. So we are going to the uploads section. And from here, we are going to click on this button that says upload files. This is the photo that I want to upload to Canva. So you just simply select the photo or you can also select multiple photos and then click open. Canva is going to upload the photo to the platform and after you see that the loading bar has disappeared, you can start working with it. If you want to use the free version of Canva during this whole process, I do recommend that you upload your photo with the background and also without. So you will do this on this step, but I'm going to show you how to remove the background inside Canva. The background remover feature is available only for Canva Pro users, that means the paid users in Canva. If you have a Canva free account and would love to try this background remover feature, I have a 45 day free trial in the description of this video. Let me show you how to remove the background in Canva so then we can later on add this outline to the subject of our photo. So to bring this photo into my empty Canva, I just click one time on the photo and I have now the photo on my design. By having the photo selected, we are going to the white toolbar and search for the button that says edit photo. From here, we have access to the background remover or BG remover. As I mentioned, this is a pro feature in Canva and all we have to do is click on this thumbnail and Canva is going to do its magic and it's going to remove the background on the photo. Canva did an amazing job on this photo. It took just a couple of seconds for Canva to remove the background and it did a fantastic job. If it happens that in your case the background remover forgot a section of the background or maybe removed a part of your body, you can click again on this thumbnail to access the erase and restore brush. So with the erase brush, you can delete a section of the background that you want to remove or you can restore parts of the subject that Canva removed accidentally. My photo is looking perfect, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And now let's add an outline to my subject or my subjects. I'm going to continue on the edit photo section. So this is the same window where we find the background remover, but this time we are going to use shadows that is under the effects category. So let's click on this thumbnail and we have here three different options. I'm going to select the outlined option. Here we have a couple of settings that we can adjust to achieve a different style on our outline. We can increase is the size of the outline. We can add a blur effect. We can also change the angle on our outline, but if we move it from here, we won't be able to see a difference on the outline, but that is because we haven't added a distance to this effect. But once you add a distance to your outline, you can then play around with the angle of the outline. You can also adjust the intensity in case that you want to add some transparency to the outline and you can finally change the color. I'm going to leave the settings as they were. So I'm going to click on none to reset all these changes that I have done and then click 
click again on outline. These are the settings that I'm going to work with and I just need to change the color to white. So I'm going to click on top of this black square and I'm going to move this slider to white. I'm going to select the background and I'm going to change the color for any color. So you can now see the white outline on my photo. So we can use this photo on any kind of design. You can change the position of the element or the photo. You can crop your photo if you want. You can make it smaller. You can also rotate it and then you can play around with all the settings that you have available in Canva. You can add text to your design by clicking or hitting the key T on your keyboard and then add your text to your design. If you don't know how to use Canva, I have the right tutorial for you. I'm going to leave the link in the description. That is a complete tutorial on how to use Canva. For the moment, let me show you the steps that you need to follow to add back the background to your photo so you can end up with a photo like this one. You're going to follow exactly the same steps that I just showed you and then you are going to add one more time the same photo that you uploaded with the background. So by clicking on the photo, I'm bringing this image again to my design. I'm going to select the photo and then go to position and go to back. We now have the photo with the outline on top of the original photo and we just need to position our subjects on top of the photo with the background and then we may need to stretch back the photo a little bit. If you want to remove some sections of the white outline in the corners, you can just crop the photo with these anchors on the lateral of the image and then stretch your photo a tiny bit. I think this photo is looking great at the moment and now let me show you how to download these images in case that you want to use them in another platform. I have on page number one the photo without the background and on the second page I have the photo with the background. So let's download first page number one. Let's say that you just want to download this photo with the outline but without the background. We want to have a transparent background. We're going to use the menu on the top of the screen and click on share. From here select download. From here we are going to leave the file type as PNG and then we are going to select transparent background. This option has the crown that means that this is available only for Canva pro users. After we are going to select the page where you have the image without the background. I'm going to select done. In this case because I have two pages I need to select the page that I need. After you have all of these settings right you are going to click download. To download page number two or the photo with the background you can leave it as it is with a color in the background like in this case I have the purple color or you can select both images, group them and then increase the size of your image so it covers the entire page and then we are going to download this image. So same process, go to share, then download. And in this case, we don't need the transparent background option because we are going to download a solid image. I'm going to select page number two, then select done and download. Which style of photo do you think you'll be using more often? This one without the background or this one with the background? In our case, we mostly use photos without the background because we can apply them to almost any design, but let me know which one do you think you'll be using the most? If you want to see the latest and more updated Canva tips, I have a video in here that you are going to love. Also, if you want to take advantage of our 45 day free trial of Canva Pro, I'm going to leave that link in here. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.